Hello guys, this time around we'll be looking how to troubleshoot microwave step by step. The first thing to uh, find out is to check the power source voltage. Then we will now proceed to uh, the plug, the microwave plug. Check the 13 amps fuse or any other related fuse because some of them have you no know, other type of fuses. You need to check the fuse and be sure if the fuse is not blown. These are the internal uh, component of a microwave. This microwave has you no know, so many uh, parts that we need to consider. The micro switches on the door and also the transformer, the magnetron, you know, the PTC, and so on and so forth. I will be looking at them one after the other. The capacitor, the diode that grounds the capacitor to the uh, uh, metal plate of the microwave. All these things are the things that we'll be looking at. And uh, one after the other, we'll be looking at the parts, each of the parts to find out exactly which part is actually faulty in order to be able to isolate it now let's begin the troubleshooting of the microwave uh, parts uh, the first thing we need to do is to uh, look at the fuse and check if the fuse is properly in good shape as you can see the fuse is in good condition then we now proceed to the uh, magnetron that is the wave generator we are going to be reading it and to find out if actually it's also okay if it's not grounding or acting so reading it you place your two lead of your uh, meter to it and read and see if it's properly okay now we proceed to uh, the grounding diode the grounding diode is very very important because most of the time most uh, microwave usually develop their problem from either the grounding diode or the capacitor or the micro switches so you can see the diode is reading to ground but that does not prove that is the one that is faulty but we need to isolate the grounding diode and read the capacitor direct to find out if the capacitor is actually the problem then having done that we will now move to uh, the PTC read the PC, PTC that's the thermostat if the machine is overheating it will cut off uh, the supply also having done that the PTC is very okay then we'll now proceed to each of the micro switches uh, some of the micro switches are normally open while others are normally closed so you need to find out if they are in good condition after reading each one of them, you open the door and read and repeat the same reading to be sure if the uh, my, uh, micro switch is in good condition. Then having read the first one, you move to the second one and read the second micro switch again to be sure and be certain that it's in good condition. After reading it, when the door is closed, you open the door again and repeat the same reading. If it doesn't read or read, then you know that it's in good condition or it's faulty. Then you proceed to the third one. Some of them have up to, you know, mostly, most microwaves usually come with three micro switches and some other pro This is how to determine the capacitor that is good. Or bad 
the one that the terminals are leading together is bad and by the time you place your lead on another capacitor and you find out that the terminals are not uh, reading together that tells you that that capacitor is good then the same thing apply to the diode if your diode is reading it shows that it is bad but when it is not reading it shows that your diode is okay so we need to replace you no know, that uh, diode i mean the capacitor that is reading on that microwave with a new one as you have just seen thank you for watching subscribe and watch yeah.